history colon uh, lumbar spine scoliosis, period lumbar spine pain and radiculopathy, period impact comparison colon previous radiograph from outside images, new paragraph comparison colon, I'm sorry, new paragraph technique colon multiplanar comma multi-sequence MRI images of the lumbar spine without contrast enhancement was obtained period, new paragraph finding colon new paragraph, there is dextrocomic rotatory scoliosis of the lumbar spine center at L2-L3 level, minus 24 degree period, patient status was cholecystectomy period, New paragraph. The conus medullaris terminate at L1 L2 level with normal morphology and signal intensity. Period. New paragraph. In the alignment paragraph, 2 millimeter retrolithesis of L2 on L3 is noted. Period. In the mirror paragraph, there's motor tab 1 M plate changes at L1 L2 and L2 L3 level come out worse on the left side. Parrot, new paragraph. There's fatty atrophy of the right side paraspinous muscle at L4 and L5 level. Parrot, new paragraph. No evidence of retroperineal lymphadenopathy. Parrot, the visualized bilateral kidneys are a remarkable parrot, new paragraph. T12 L1 colon. There's disc desiccation and bilateral facet joint hypertrophy. New paragraph. L1 L2 colon. There's disc desiccation, comma. Bilateral facet joint hypertrophy and a prominent disosteophyte complex protrusion anteriorly without nerve compression period. No evidence of spinal canal sources. Period. Palato neuroforamen, R. Payton, period, new paragraph, L2-L3 colon, there's disc desiccation and mild bradycystic bulge, period, facet joint hypertrophy, bilaterally, unnoted, period, no evidence of spinal canal sources, period, the right side neuroforamen is Payton, period, there's mild left side neuroforamen sources without complete effacement of neuroforaminal fat or direct nerve compression on the nerve root period. New paragraph. L3-L4 colon. There's disc desiccation and broad vitis bulge period. Facet joint hypertrophy bilaterally unnoted period. There's moderate bilateral neuroforaminal sources. I'm sorry, there's mild bilateral neuroforaminal sources without direct nerve compression period. New paragraph. L4 L5 colon. There's disc desiccation, come on, disc based nearing and broad based disc bulge period. There is right side framinal broad based disc osteophyte complex protrusion, measures 2.9 centimeter in width and uh, 1 centimeter in maximum radial dimension period. It results in moderate to severe right side neurofaminosis with effacement of neurofaminal fat with probable compression of the exiting right L4 nerve period. It is primarily due to disosteophyte complex protrusion and facet joint hypertrophy period. Right side facet joint arthropathy is noted to become more prominent as compared to the left side period. No evidence of spinal canal sources period. The left side neuroforami is patent period. New paragraph. L5 S1 colon, there's disc desiccation and uh, broad based disc bulge period. Facet joint hypertrophy bilaterally unnoted period. There's mild left side neurofarmacosis and uh, moderate right side neurofarmacosis without complete effacement of neurofarmacosis fat. Period slight compression on right L5 nerve root is possible. Period. New paragraph. Impression colon paragraph. 
dextrocalmic rotary scoliosis of the upper lumbar spine with multilevel degenerative disc disease as described period neurofibrinosis with probable nerve compression at L4-L5 and L5-S1 level on the right side is noted period clinical correlation with possible radiculopathy is recommended period Fluoroscopic guided nerve injection may offer diagnostic and therapeutic value. Period, new paragraph. Subtle modic type 1 amplitude changes to distal of subtle segmental instability at L1 L2 level on the left side. Period, new paragraph. Mild atrophy of the upper lumbar spine paraspinous muscle on the left side and the fatty atrophy of the lower lumbar spine paraspinous muscle on the right side due to scoliosis period new paragraph no acute fracture or dislocation or tumor process identified period new paragraph uh, period end